In the name of the Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Glory be to God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the age of all ages. Amen. Today is the second day of the Theophany Feast. Yesterday was 11th October, the Feast of the Theophany, and today is the second day of the Theophany Feast. And on this day, we read a special reading about the Theophany which is the church arranged this reading on the second day, no matter what this second day is, in a weekday or even on Sunday. Although today is Sunday, the second Sunday of the month of Tuba, we don't read the second Sunday of the month of Tuba reading, but we read the, the readings of the second day of the Theophany Feast. And we celebrate in a joyful tone, we celebrate in the festive hymns from the Theophany day, which is yesterday, until tomorrow, which is the miracle of the, at the wedding of Cana of Galilee. Those, those days we will celebrate them in joyful hymns, and today is considered to be a second day of the Theophany Feast. And as today we celebrate the Theophany Feast, we call this feast two names, Theophany or Epiphany. And when we call it Theophany, we this word from the Greek word of Theophania, and Theo means God, and Phania means manifestation or revelation. So Theophania or Theophany means the manifestation or the revelation of God. And he manifested on this day, as we see during his baptism at Saint John the Baptist, in the form of the Holy Trinity, the Father as a voice speaking from heaven, you are my beloved Son, in you I am well pleased. The Son is baptized in the water of Jordan River, and the Holy Spirit descended as a, as a dove on the Lord Jesus Christ, through the Holy Trinity manifested. And that's why we call it Theophany, which means a manifestation of God, the Holy Trinity manifested. We also call it epiphany, but this word epiphany, it's a general word. Epiphany from epiphania, epi means above, and phania means manifestation or revelation. Which manifestation or revelation, or revelation from above. But epiphany is called on six other feasts, not only the theophany, on six other feasts. So we call the nativity also Epiphany. We call the circumcision feast Epiphany. We call the wedding of Cana of Galilee Epiphany. We call the presentation of the Lord Jesus Christ at the temple Epiphany and the flee or the flight to Egypt Epiphany and the Annunciation feast is Epiphany. So the Epiphany is a general word where we see a manifestation from above. And this manifestation revealed something about God. In the first feast, which is Theophany, revealed the Son of God. Revealed the Son of God. The Lord Jesus Christ, the incarnated God in flesh. In this Theophany feast, it revealed the Son of God, the Holy Trinity, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. In Nativity Feast, it's revealed the Son of Man, God, the Divine. He is incarnated in a form of a flesh, of a form of a man. So here is the revelation or the manifestation of a Son of Man. So while Theophany revealing Son of God, Nativity is revealing of Son of Man. In Circumcision Feast, his humanity was manifested. His humanity was manifested as perfectly human. He is a perfect human, the Lord Jesus Christ. And in wedding of Cana of Galilee, his divinity is manifested as a creator when he transformed the water into wine in the first miracle at Cana of Galilee. So the presentation at the temple is is also another kind of manifestation. 
presentation at the temple, he was presented when Simon the elder carried him and Hannah the prophetess also carried him and prophesied about him. And this is his manifestation to the Jews. And his flight to Egypt, this is his manifestation to the Gentiles. So we see on those six feasts, Theophany, revelation or manifestation of Son of God, nativity, revelation or manifestation of Son of Man, circumcision, revelation as perfectly human, and the wedding of Cana of Galilee is manifestation as perfectly divine, and the presentation at the temple, his manifestation to the Jews, and the flee to Egypt is his manifestation to the Gentiles. And the last one, as part of the epiphany, is the Annunciation. This is his manifestation as a savior. As the Archangel Gabriel announced Saint Mary, he shall and shall call his name Jesus in Luke 1. And as he said in the dream in Saint Joseph in Matthew 1, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. He is the Savior. So when we see the seven feasts of the Epiphany, we see that in those seven feasts, in the Epiphany, the manifestation from above, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior, He is the Son of God, who is perfectly divine, and He is, and he is also the Son of Man, who is perfectly human, who came to save the whole world, the Jews and also the Gentiles. And this is the manifestation from above of the Epiphany. So today we want to talk about God's manifestation to us, manifestation of God. In today's Gospel we see His manifestation to different disciples. The first one, Saint John the Baptist, when he saw him, Saint John, whom used to preach, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, I indeed baptize you with water, and to, unto repentance, the Lord Jesus Christ came and approached him. And Saint John prevented him from being baptized, telling him, I need to be baptized by you, and are you coming to me? So the Lord Jesus Christ told him, permitted to be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. St. John today in today's Gospel, he's saying in the second day when he saw him, when he saw the Lord Jesus Christ coming, he said, I do not know him, but that he should be revealed to Israel. And he said, and I have seen and testified that this is the Son of God. I have seen and testified that this is the Son of God. This is the manifestation, or this is a way like St. John the Baptist saw the Lord Jesus Christ. On the next day after that, we see the two disciples, John the Evangelist and Andrew, Beside John the Baptist, they're seeing the Lord Jesus Christ and he's telling those two disciples about him. Behold the Lamb of God who take away the, the sins of the world. So the two disciples, John the Evangelist and Andrew followed him. And then they said to him, Rabbi, which means teacher. This is his manifestation to them as a teacher or a boy. Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to his brother Peter, we have found the Messiah. They have found the Messiah, the Christ. And then they went to Philip and he said to him, Philip, follow me. And Philip found Nathaniel and he also, Nathaniel, uh, they, they, they saw him as the prophet's rod, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. And this all is talking about his manifestation 
to the disciples, how the disciples saw him and how he was manifested to him. So in this passage we see three things in the manifestation of God. Number one, the manifestation of his holy trinity, the manifestation of the Lord Jesus Christ as the Son of God and the manifestation of the Lord Jesus Christ as the Messiah, the Christ the Messiah, the Christ. The first thing we see him, the Lord Jesus Christ, he is the prophet. He is the prophet. When the Jews sent disciples, priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask John the Baptist, are you Elijah? He said, no, I'm not. Are you that prophet? He answered, no. A prophet, any prophet, declares a message, convey a message from God to people. As Moses, Elijah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, they all declared or conveyed a message from God to people. God gave them a message to send, to deliver to his people. And the Lord Jesus Christ, he is not a prophet. He is the prophet. He is the prophet. And we see the message clearly in Hebrews 1. God, who at various times and in various ways spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophets, has in this last day spoken to us by his son. Spoken to us by his son. So his son is the prophet. He conveyed this message, this message of love from God the Father to, to us, the human. So the first thing we see about the manifestation of God to all these disciples when he is manifesting when he is manifested he is manifested as the prophet he is the prophet the second thing we see in his manifestation he is manifested as a high priest not just a priest the prophet deliver the message from God to people and the priest deliver the message from people to God. So God the Son, the incarnated God, the Lord Jesus Christ, he's he is the high priest who is delivering a message from people to God. And this message is the reconciliation. He is reconciling the humanity with, with God. And the Lord Jesus Christ is the high priest he is standing in his blood at the Holy of Holies, interceding by his own blood, and he is offering a sacrifice for us all. He is offering, offering a sacrifice for us all as a high priest. And this sacrifice is himself. He is offering himself as a sacrifice. He is a high priest and he is the sacrifice. He is the Lamb of God. As St. John said today, Behold the Lamb of God. So in the second manifestation, we see him as the High Priest. In the third manifestation, we see him the King. He is the King. He is the King. In 1 Corinthians 15, it shows how is the kingdom of God and the kingdom of Satan, the devil. And it stated that the kingdom of God was stated when the Lord Jesus Christ put all enemies under his feet at the cross. At that time, he restored Adam and the prophet and all the righteous souls from the death, from Hades. He established his kingdom, and that's what we call it the millennium, al-hukm al-alfi. The millennium, which started on the day of the cross 
when the Lord Jesus Christ stated his kingdom to us and after that all believers get baptized when we get baptized we denounce the kingdom of devil and we accept the kingdom of God as children of God we, we accept his kingdom the kingdom of God and we accept him as the king of kings and this is what Saint Paul says in 1st Corinthians 15 then comes the end when the son delivers the kingdom to God the father at the end he will deliver his kingdom to God the father so in the manifestation of God as we see today with Saint John the Baptist with all the disciples they follow him Saint John the Evangelist Andrew Philip and Nathaniel we see the Lord Jesus Christ in his manifestation he is manifested as the prophet who he is the prophet who declares a message from God to his people he is manifested as a high priest who declares a message from people to God which is reconciliation he is manifested as a king of kings who declares his kingdom to us that we take in his baptism may God give us to experience his manifestation in our life glory be to him forever and ever amen Amen.